Hi everyone, welcome back to the best LRDI set series. The wait is finally over as we are here with the set number 48 to this free LRDI course that I've launched. Okay, if you have not completed the initial sets, I strongly recommend you guys to go to the portal and finish all the sets. In fact, I have put all of these sets along with 8 to 10 concept lectures directly on the portal. So all you need to do is go to this particular link, myprepzone.com. There you can see this course, Best LRDA Sets for CAT. You can enroll on this. This is for free. There is absolutely no charge on it. Okay, And all the sets and everything is covered by me only here. Okay, so if you're liking the series and if you're facing issues, you need something to constantly boost you up, I think this is the place. Okay. Additionally, if you need any help, any personalized mentorship with me, you can ping on my number and uh, we'll be happy to help you. With this, let's bring on the set. This is a very good set, particularly from the Venn diagram topic. Let's, uh, the, the entire steps remain same. You have to pause the video, attend the set and uh, comment. The time taken, it's very, very important. And please share this with your friends and your groups. I'm sure you all are added in so many groups. Now, just help us so that we can increase the number of sets in this series, okay? So with that, let's get started. The, the question says, in a library, a certain number of books were borrowed by its member during the month of November, okay? Great, I think this has to be April. This is not November. This is a typo. This has to be April. I think in some places it is November in some places are separate. So it won't make a difference, but I think it should be April. The following table provides details regarding the number of books borrowed on different days in the month of April. Okay, right? So what it is, so what this table says is here at least a book borrowed, at least one book was borrowed on 30 days. At least one ka matlab kya till jitana bhi maximum number of books. Hai, right? Similarly, it says at most 10 books were ordered were borrowed on 10 days, right? At most, two ka kya matlab hota hai? Ya to ek bhi book borrowed hi hui, right? Ya fir ek book borrowed ki hogi, ya fir ek, ya fir do books borrowed hogi. This sum is equals to 10 and so on and so forth, right? And then there are certain questions that are given ki yaar, chhe books ka borrowed hui, saad books ka borrowed hui, etc. Right? So with this, let's uh, get started with the set. So we, initi we essentially have to find out ki yaar, ek book कितने दिन में ऑर्डर हुई है दो बुक कितने में हुई है तीन कितने में हुई है चार पांच छह सात आठ नौ दस जितनी भी बुक्स राइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट मेकिंग अ सेंस आउट ऑफ इट सो व्हाट इट इज सेइंग इज वी नो द मंथ इज अप्रैल सो अप्रैल एसेंशियली हैज 30 डेज ओनली राइट सो इट इज सेइंग दैट एटलीस्ट वन बुक इज ऑर्डर्ड ऑन ऑल द 30 डेज राइट व्हिच मींस आई डोंट हैव अ डे जहां पे एक भी बुक ऑर्डर नहीं हुई है राइट नंबर ऑफ डेज ऑन ऑन व्हिच जीरो बुक इज ऑर्डर्ड इज जीरो राइट N0 or NR represents number of days on which our books are borrowed. Okay? Now, uh, at least one is 30, okay, which essentially means N1 plus N2 till jitra bhi count hoga, maximum is 30. And here, pe table ko mein se go through karunga, I will get a sense ki are at most 10 books order hui on all the 30 days, right? Iska matlab, pure hi April mein, on the entire 30 days, at most 10 books order hui hai, 10 se zada books order nahi hui hai, right? So essentially, we need to calculate the values of N0 to 0 and maximum is N10. So essentially N1, N2, N3, N4 till N10 we have to get out of here, right? Now let's start making a sense out of it. At least 1 is 30. So I know N1 plus N2 till N30 is nothing but equals to 30, right? This is what I mean. I'll also write it for your uh, reference. But in exam, I would not have written it. Because I keep this information I would not have wasted time to write it down. Okay? So use this information. What else is written? At most two and at least two is given, right? At most two ka kya matlab hota hai? Maximum two books, right? Maximum two books matlab, I know N0 is zero. So N1 plus N2 ki ya to ek book order hoogi, borrow hoogi ya do book borrow hoogi. In dono ka sum kitna hai? In dono ka sum is 10. And at least two is 24, right? At least two ka kya matlab hota hai? N2 plus N3 till a maximum of N10 because maximum to mein 10 book ki borrow kar sakta hoon. This is equals to 24, right? While a couple of you would, would be tempted to attempt this set using the Venn diagram, but the moment you see here, thus at least 10 tak cheese, then you would leave it, right? It will get very difficult because this will be a 10 dimension problem, right? So I have these two information. Now let's just make a sense out of it. N1 plus N2 is this, N2 plus N3 plus N10 is this. So if I make a sum of these two equations, I will get N1 plus N plus twice of N2 plus N3 plus N4 till N10. And I know N1 plus N2 till N10 is 30. So if I just add these two equations and subtract the first equation from it, I will get the value of N2. Jukitni yogi, N2 will be nothing but 
थर्टी फोर माइनस थर्टी फोर एंड टू हो जाएगा फोर सो रेदर देन दिस लेट मी मेक अ टेबल आउट ऑफ इट या नंबर ऑफ नंबर ऑफ डेज ऑन विच अ बुक इज ऑर्डर्ड एंड नंबर ऑफ बुक्स दैट आर ऑर्डर राइट नंबर ऑफ बुक्स दैट आर ऑर्डर ऐसे एक मैं टेबल बना लूंगा कि यार कब एक बुक ऑर्डर हुई है दो तीन चार पांच छ सात आठ नौ दस राइट आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट इन फिल दिस टेबल फाइनली ठीक है सो नंबर ऑफ टू इज इक्वल्स टू फोर एंड आई नो इफ एन टू इज फोर एन वन हैज टू बी सिक्स राइट बिकॉज एन वन प्लस एन टू इज टेन सो दिस हैज टू बी सिक्स So use this to information. Similarly, at most four plus at least four. This will be n one plus n two plus n three plus n four. This will be n four plus n five till n ten. So if I sum both of it, this will be thirty four. And if I subtract thirty, I will get the value of n four. Right? So n four is nothing but four again. Right? If n four is four, I know n one plus n two plus n three plus n four has to be sixteen. So this sum has to be sixteen. So if this is ten, this is four. This has to be two. Right? So now you should start. Putting the values directly without having to solve the expression. Similarly, in दोनों का sum is thirty two. इसमें से repeat होगा six, so this has to be two, right? Similarly, twenty nine plus five is thirty four. This has to be four, right? Similarly, this has to be thirty plus one thirty one minus thirty. This has to be one, right? This is what I have done. Now let's see what more information is given to me. At most six is twenty four, so this sum has to be twenty four. I know. At most four is sixteen, which means this sum I already knew this was sixteen. This is plus to eighteen, so eighteen and twenty four. So this difference is six. N five has to be six, right? Similarly, at most six is now twenty four. So this sum is twenty four, and uh, at most eight was twenty nine. So twenty four minus twenty nine minus twenty four is five, and out of five, four to already here be over. So the left out number is one. Right. Similarly, I will fill the information for n nine. This has to be six, right? Why? Because at most ten is thirty. This sum has to be thirty. At most eight was uh, this twenty nine, right? So here, so I have difference. Okay, I will be able to calculate this particular value. Okay, n nine is nothing but sorry, sorry. This is not six. See, at most ten is thirty. This sum is thirty, and at most eight is twenty nine. So this sum is twenty nine, which means in both of them, sum will not be. One thirty minus twenty nine because this is already one. This is not six. This will be zero, right? So now I have already filled the entire table. Let's jump onto the question. This question looks difficult. Yeah, how to do it? But the moment you strike, yeah, let's start making the variable because I don't have any other for three people to crack it. On how many days during the month of April were exactly seven books borrowed? Seven? Where are they? Only one day. The answer is one. If each book that was borrowed was written on the same day, ठीक है, and an amount of rupees five was charged as the rental charge for each book borrowed. What is the total rental charge earned by the library in the month of April? So it has to be equals to five into number of books borrowed, right? Number of books which are borrowed, right? And I know एक book छः दिन के लिए हुई है, दो books चार दिन के लिए हुई है, right? So essentially I have to take a weighted average because For six days, one book was borrowed. This means the first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day, eighth day, and so on and so forth. So now I'll start uh, just doing a weighted average: six into one plus two into four plus three into two plus four into four, so on and so forth. If you just do this, you will get sum equals to one twenty-seven. So essentially, this is one twenty-seven. So one twenty-seven into five will be your answer, which is one uh, twenty plus five is six hundred plus seven into five thirty-five. So six thirty-five answer will be my answer. Last question: If during the month of November, the number of days on which exactly n books were borrowed was d n, what is the value of n for which d n is lowest? Right. So number of days for which n books were borrowed has to be minimized. Right. So I have to number of days to minimum. Can I number of days minimum is here, which is zero, and it is happening for the ninth. It is happening when nine books borrow are there. Right. So what is the value of n? N is the number of books that are borrowed. N has to be equal to nine. So I think I'm done with this set, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was an easier set, but I think थोड़ा सा tricky. And I am really excited to see to see how many of you were able to solve it. Okay. So with this, let's uh, 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 like let's stop the video here, and uh, I'll see you very soon in the next video.